Booker, this is a really, really bad idea. Bam. I have to do, Scotty, I have to do the gay buy thing. I've insulted a nation and a demographic. You have to do this. Oh. All right, fine, fine, fine. Okay, I'll do it. Get me a wig, get me a mustache, and get me some rebands, and I'll do it. Hello, my name is Mincha. You are you, and today we have some Dustfire 14 news. Are you excited? I'm excited. Holy shit! Uh, hi there. Uh, it's your friendly neighbourhood well explainers booker here, and I really must get some uh, actual nice good friends, but because I haven't, here I am again with the wonderful, <laughs> actually horrendous, horrifying, <laughs> nearly humorous, <laughs> Bam Havoc. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well, thanks Booker, thanks for that lovely introduction again. Last week I was, I was ugly, now I'm horrendous, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I'm clearly Billy No Mates Booker. <laughs> <laughs> Billy no mates, lovely. <laughs> well, Booker, dude, um, the reason why I pulled you off some uh, gay camping in Norsec today, dude, um, is basically t the topic of our next video, which is the Dust Eve okay. link. Um, have you got any thoughts or opinions on that, dude? Uh, what Dust Eve link? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there yeah. you go. What where, do we, where do we start? <laughs> the, um, <laughs> Well, let's, st know, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. Well, there is no real significant Dust Eve link, uh, in my honest opinion at the moment. Uh, I think most people would agree with me, CCP, I would hope, would agree that um, any link that is there is insignificant and uh, underutilised. I know that you yourself the other day participated in an experiment, but that was the whole thing, it was an experiment. Yeah, uh, yeah, there was and nothing it in it. it. There worked. was nothing in it for the Eat Pilot except no. he got his arse blown up. Yeah. <laughs> and he had to run, and he was lucky enough to get through three gate camps to yeah, get yeah, to yeah, the yeah, system yeah. where you were. He managed to drop an OB, and fair play, so you all got to see what an OB looked like. Yeah! Uh, a proper one, yeah. Um, but then he got his arse blown to King Come, and there was, yeah, uh, yeah. he lost money, he, it was difficult for him. And that's the whole point. Is that for the Eve universe, there's no incentive to uh, participate in dust shenanigans. Nothing at all, um, uh, or, or nothing significant enough to get big cores involved. And that's got to change. Uh, see, there's, here's, here's the thing. I don't see what the problem is. All right. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, the, the, in this video that I'm showing to you guys now, um, towards the later part of it, um, one of our um, Carbon Seven uh, Eve pilots. Ran three gate camps, managed to drop down uh, two uh, starship strikes, and as he aligned uh, to warp out uh, to get to a safer area, he got potted, you know, and he, he lost out in cash. And it was no, there was no incentive for him apart from running three gate camps. So that must have been pumping, all right. But what I don't see, the, I don't see the problem. I really don't. What, I, what, what, what my, my opinion on this is, and I'm probably going to get flamed, but I don't give a shit. Um, Yes, people AFK mine on asteroids. Take the resources out of the asteroids, put them into the planets. Okay. The dust mercs have the resources. Okay. The Eve pilots need the resources. Come and get them, sweetheart. Come on. I'm waiting. But what's the problem with that? I don't see the problem. Okay. Well, just let me give you a little, uh, um, bam, let me give you a little uh, insight into uh, how a, an Eve pilot thinks. Okay. Uh, uh, with it, Eve pilot, I mean, it, on the whole, it's all about the ISK. Everything is about the ISK. Okay. And, um, Check. and ISK. if you, for one moment, make an EVE universe or progress. EVE pilots, EVE cores, actually rely on dust for their income, there will be riots. <laughs> <laughs> like, what, 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 when you say riots, what do you mean? They're gonna they're gonna shut down Jitter again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it's happened, uh, and probably for um, uh, less than uh, you know, taking away their ability to earn their own income without relying on uh, another game. 
Uh, but yes, they did. Uh, uh, everybody knows about the the Gita riots and um, what happened there is pretty much into the folklore of Eve. And I think it's that's part of the amazing thing about the the Eve universe. That sort of thing can be organised and can happen and have a, a real time effect. Damn, or well, that sounds pretty bad. The, the, the most important trade hub in, in Eve. Um, an, an incredible thing, really. I think there's no other game like it. It is amazing in that respect. And, and I can't wait for the day when um, dust partakes in a, in a greater chunk of that, where you have... <laughs> uh, <laughs> dust smoke's putting a blockade on yeah. our system! No, but you know, where, where you have that much more sandbox feel that, you know, if you... If you're, uh, if you own a district on a planet, then you can choose to go down to the surface and start um, uh, partaking in PVE elements of, of the game and go in and hunt drones in districts yeah, with your yeah, mates. Yeah, yeah. And but all that links in with the fact that um, there needs to be resources on those planets. Uh, you can't take away the resources. It's madness, complete madness. And that, yeah, there's a lot of people uh, earn their incomes doing like that, and that is absolutely fine and dandy. You, you can't okay, take okay. those resources away. So people um, have got their own set niches on on the actual game. You've yeah, got, yeah, a, you've you got a specific skill set. You can find that skill set on this game. So that's yeah. that basic outgoing, Yeah. People are, you know, there's planetary interaction. Okay, and that that, that this is a part of the game that you that we should be having an effect on. And I think also uh, sovereignty is a massive uh, massive issue. Um, yeah, yeah. If, if we can't do resources, why can't we do sovereignty in marketplace then? Well, I think I, I, what you've got to do is find that happy in-between space where um, that, that Eve pilots can carry on doing what they're doing independently of anything that Dust can help. Uh, what what you then add into the to, into the mix. Um, Apart from, of course, also, also getting the bloody markets merged and sorted out. And I acknowledge that that is a massive issue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've got 20 officer sniper rifles that I don't even use because I'm a heavy. And yeah, it's yeah. Like they're just collecting dust. It's like, yeah. give me a marketplace. Well, we haven't even got internal. Things. Yeah, we haven't even got internal oh, dust market going on right now, which is yeah, a real shame. Sure. And I'm sure that I'm sure yeah. that's on their roadmap. And that's fine. But uh, how on earth are they going to actually properly merge the dust and Eve? Markets, it's, uh, 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 well, it's mind-boggling to me. They've got economists working on it, and uh, be interesting to see how that pans out. <laughs> they've but got, they've that... got their own bean counters working yeah. on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a, I know that one of the uh, man fests, um, they actually wheeled him out on stage. Yeah, an, actual, an actual economist. What, still on his table and chair, wheeled him out. There's our bean counter yeah, and wheeled blink, him off. <laughs> blinking in the sunlight. Oh, like, <laughs> Sunlight's oh no! <laughs> so, um, he, he, there's somebody there working on that sort of thing so but you've one you've got to get that in, in work in good working order that link has to be um, properly in good working order and then um, if you then make say sovereignty and the kind of profits that you can make for the system yeah partly or more massively more um, profitable or easier to attain or any of a mixture of those things with the involvement dust pilots, then you start to get a massive interest from the core. Whatever you do, do not make Eve reliant on dust. It will be a complete disaster. So what you're saying then, Booker, basically, is that there's not enough incentive to actually get involved with the dust sort of community for the EVE player, then they're not going to bother. So they, if, if yeah. they own a sovereignty of a, play, of a system that has 70%, but us dust mercs have... 30% of it, and there's no more incentive than that to, to go and actually take the planets away from us, or, or, or hire other dust mercs to take planets away from us, then they're just not going to bother. They're going to carry on AFK mining on the asteroid belts. Yeah, well, uh, you know, it's, I think, um, you know, we're in low, low sec at the moment, so obviously yes. it's not uh, a major issue. No, uh, not Faction yet. warfare, it, uh, it kind of is, though, isn't it? I, I must admit, I'm not a huge um, aficionado of faction warfare, but that's where we should be having ongoing and good interaction between Dustin uh, and Eve right now. That's where the proving yeah. ground should be. But that, it's just not happening because it's too too difficult and not there's not enough um, uh, plus sides for the Eve part. So unfortunately, you've got to really, really shovel in the bonuses for the Eve um, to make uh, it worth their while to start really interacting with Dust Cores and organising and getting things um, 
uh, so that they can coordinate attacks. Uh, and we don't all have enough tools within the framework that CCP have given us within Dust. Uh, I mean, we can now at least choose what race we want to fight for, but yeah. it can be a bit of a lottery of what planet you end up on. Yeah, uh, no, that, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> Do you know, so... So if know, there's... Yeah, carry on, mate, yeah, carry on. You don't necessarily go and have a gunfight um, where your EVE pilots are wanting the gunfight. You, you can fight for the right side, but are you necessarily fighting in the right system or planet? I mean, uh, it, it, it's difficult to raise it. So there's a lot more tools need to be put in place by uh, CCP in that, on that score, for sure. Uh, but I still think you need bigger incentives for planetary warfare and planetary Congress. I mean, we're in low sec. We're still in beta, so this is the beta testing part of planetary Congress. There's massive improvements could be done. Uh, uh, could be done there. There's no real incentive for EVE pilots to go and do anything in planetary Congress at all. No, there less isn't. Less so than there is in factual warfare. Yeah. Uh, uh, all they're doing is getting their ships blown up. What you need to do is make core-wide bonuses in production, industry, sovereignty, uh, move it out to Nullsec, and suddenly you will get injured. If you make sovereignty and production, and uh, you give big, big, and I'm talking significant eyebrow-raising bonuses on that sort of uh, side of EVE, then you will get big alliance interest in involving dust, grabbing sovereignty of planets, and that, that, that uh, tips the sovereignty of systems much more easily, um, and, and ups, and gives them significant production bonuses uh, to um, gathering the resources from those uh, systems, uh, that's when you'll start getting uh, really involved, but it's not the moment. The bonuses aren't there, nobody's all that bothered about Nullsec. You are for faction warfare and they should really make that work better, um, but uh, uh, it's not until we get to Nullsec that yeah, yeah. planetary conquest will become, will get be in there with the big boys, and that's when it will really matter, and they've got to get it right for that. So, you know, that'll come, I think, when we can move to PS4 and come out later. Yeah, I, I, I can't agree with more with what you said there, Booker, but, you know, at the end of the day, all I want to do, all right, is go buy some seeds on the EVE market, Bring them to a, to a district uh, on, on a planet that I own and plant some trees for you. Because <laughs> I haven't heard... You, you haven't stopped moaning since since uh, you, you, you've, you've been denied trees. And I think I'm going to start a petition. In fact, I'm going to start a petition in the general comment section just for the CCP devs and designers to actually put in one tree. Just want <laughs> one tree and call it the Book of Bam tree. And that done. There you oh, go. well, yeah, Done. there you go. But we'll be we're world famous for providing a tree. A tree, um, yes, <laughs> a tree, yes. Uh, well, that's what, I mean, you've actually managed to get me ranting about something else today, but yeah, trees are, uh, are always in the background. I'm always, uh, I'm always thinking of the tree, um, for sure. Simple as that. Simp it's, it's as simple as that. It is as simple as that. Uh, and sorry, you know, sorry for the long rant and the lack of laughs, but uh, sometimes um, uh, it, there's things... Uh, too um, serious to laugh about. Yeah, uh, true, true. <laughs> oh, oh, no, well, no, you can laugh about it. So, in this case, I just took a bit of explaining, and uh, so I apologise for, for taking a bit of time to do that. Right, well, Booker, I think it's enough for your ranting today, dude. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, uh, well, well, uh, well that, thank you for. Uh, um, uh, another almost uh, interesting conversation, Bam. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to sign off now and uh, will endeavour to uh, place myself smack bang wallop right in the middle of your reticule sometime very soon. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> I can't believe I did the gay bye thing again. <laughs> <laughs> what you want?